playing Ophelia. I'm Dan, and I'm playing Claudius. And this is in between Act 2, Scene 2, and Act 3, Scene 1. So this is after Claudius and Polonius make the plan to spy on Hamlet to see like, why he's mad, and it's before they actually do it. See, I know not if Ophelia, who by Hamlet is thrall, will stay sovereign to my nation, or holds him above all. I do fear it is the latter, for he hath warmed her mind. But without her trust, his reason for change shall escape my find. But I have sent for her hither, for I must convert her true. With colonies and slanders, I must, con or must turn her red from blue. My lord, where art thou? Soft you now, compose thyself. Ophelia doth come. Oh, my lord, you requested my presence? Come hither. Thy father and I have thought of a plan to see why Hamlet, my, my most loved son, has so recently turned from a loyal dog to one plagued by rabies, that sick disease that has the power to make even Hercules a mind go mad. I am incredulous to believe Hamlet to be plagued by the sickness that thou hast finally painted. There lies a vexation within the doleful man's heart that restrains him from ascending the bridge that is his loved father's death. Within him lies a soldier despair that hath yet to be replaced with joy. If his father's death be the true foundation of his madness, then he may not be fit as heir to the throne. Death is a distressing thing, tis true, but for a man who must be as gallant as Ares to hold the position of king, he cannot be so soft. That is why you must execute the plan. Thou must re-deliver thy remembrances to Hamlet, those that imply nothing. And thy father, with me, shall be concealed like a rat behind a curtain, and we will hear your discourse to determine if thou art the true foundation for his madness. Tis a fine plan, my lord, though how and I have devoted far too much time that I should reprieve a lost dog from its leash. Tis now the time that mine attention be showered upon him, for I must return the tender affections that has wrapped my heart in its entirety. True love must not exist, only when thou benefits from it. But my lord, you must take my words into thy enterprise. How and I have formed a connection, one that fails to possess a price, for love does not regard one's own personal gain, or distinguishes a muffin cap from a crown. But did not Oedipus, the great ruler of Thebes, marry Ocasta only for his own purpose? This is true, my lord, but Oedipus did end up blind and with his eyes, my soul cannot help but fall into Hamlet's love and tenderness. Thou wilt stop. Talk about Hamlet. I will hear no more of this. If thou claim to care for thy most loved son, then why must thou possess such strong desires to deprive Hamlet of the sole acquaintance that provides him joy? Might thou be nervous that your image has been stained by Hamlet's discordant behavior? Dost thou truly care about Hamlet? Hast thou been stained by his false truths? I know not what lies in these tenders, but I shall not stand and watch thou, blanketed with Hamlet, consummate a marriage that cannot be reconciled. Cardinal blood mixed with maroon can only lead to death from coagulation. A lion cannot identify with an ass, nor can a snake accept virtue. Thou hast not even had sense of romance with Hamlet, and there shall never be any. I do not like thy austere address. Tis most certain within my belief that on account of my foremost encounters alongside Hamlet, not once have I planted a single weed, but a multitudinous garden, but a multitudinous garden of perennials within my own garden. Through a swift event and wanton hours flee that you have been granted a most privileged position, but okay. I must tell you this. Sundry men are born to hold a righteous position, while others are consumed by treachery. When we think there lies a fatal invalidity, for a cardinal cannot partner with this honesty. Ophelia. Tis true, king is the title of thee, but a sincere surrogate to a regal son is what thou shalt never be! My most 
humble apologies, my lord. I know not what hath possessed me. Thou art doing my contrivance. Yes, my lord. I will comply with thee. Pardon me, I have some further engagements that I must attend to. Thou shalt conform, Ophelia. Abstain from love, for there lies no reason in plighting a troth alongside Hamlet. Decline, sweet wine, to abstain from treason. Refuse red stains on thy ivory blanket. Bid Hamlet farewell, and the king. Fill fair desires, though not in thy favor. A heartless demeanor is what thou shalt bring. The women are born to do force of labor. Through this, the royal family shall be pleased. The talent fixed, and Claudius appeased. The trout was the very worst, and the flowers that It was months and months of back and forth. You're still all over me like a wine stained dress I can't wear anymore. Hung my head as I lost the war, and the sky turned.